Hey everyone, I'm Mind, and that's Pyro Whipper, baby! Today I'll be reviewing set number 70675, the Katana 4x4 from the Summer 2019 Secrets of Forbidden Spinjitsu Wave of Ninjago. This set contains 450 pieces and retails for $49.99 in the US. Now, this set contains Pyro Whipper, so you should buy it. Thanks for watching everybody, please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and if you'd like to see a different look at this set, check out my Instagram review, I have Bricks by Mind. Until next time, I'll see you later. That doesn't make any sense. Bye. Obviously, I'm, uh, I'm kidding. Let's, let's get to the actual review. So this is one of two Secrets of Forbidden Spinjitsu sets I didn't have yet, and I still don't have the other one being the mech. The mech I don't have because it's massive and I don't know if I have space for it. But this one I didn't get just because I was not interested, simply. It was $50, which is a lot of money, and it was just a big car. And having it in hand, it pretty much met my expectations. Some things are better than I expected, other things are a little worse. But the set in its entirety is about what I expected it to be. I really like how the front bit of this is built, and especially the cockpit. The cockpit with the seat and everything is one of the coolest designs I've ever seen for a vehicle interior. It looks really, really good. There's a ton of room in there, and I like how that's designed quite a bit. But then it's got this flatbed on the back, which I assume it's supposed to be a flatbed where it's just empty and open, and I don't understand the point of that. The set doesn't come with anything for you to put in there. It's got like this little container that you can put some of the extra weapon pieces in but that takes up so little space and that's not part of this big flat area and I don't know that just looks like really ugly compared to how detailed the front is I like these swords here being used to create like a grill on the front of the car uh, there are spring-loaded shooters here which work as headlights but also if you press down on the side It's not the side, you press down the hood, the back of the hood, that shoots them out. I personally am not a huge fan of spring load shooters, but they are really good for kids, so I think kids would enjoy that. While I did just praise the interior of here, it only has one seat, and this set comes with two Ninja, and with how expensive this car is, I would expect two seats, because, I don't know, one seat for $50 does feel a little lame, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. The set also has this play feature where it's got the spinning blade, and you're supposed to push this through and then it spins real quickly on the way out but from my experience it is not very consistent with how it works of the probably 50 to 100 times i've tried to get it because i i thought i built it wrong so i tried many many times taking this apart fixing it trying to get the display thing to work and sometimes it works sometimes you can make it spin real fast once it gets past this little rubber piece right here most of the time there's a lot of resistance i just don't think this mechanism is designed completely correctly maybe i had some like flawed pieces and that's why it's not working completely well but so there it is kind of working but again like you can see this is getting caught up when I'm trying to pull it back and push now it gets caught up but if you do it correctly you gotta make sure you hold the pieces the right way but you can make it work but doing it from driving mode right with the wheels on the ground I've never been able to Make it works. I really have to like grab the entire thing and be very specific with how I move it. So it's not the best play feature in the world, and it's so complicated and inconsistent for a play feature that's not even that great. It just makes the blade spin. I think they'd be better off just doing what they do with most sets and make it so the blade spins when you move the wheels, but yeah. This bit right here feels a little open too. You can see a lot of Technic uh, pins in here, and I don't know. For $50, I'd expect this to be covered up a little more. So, from the front, I think this looks really good. Comparing this to, like, Scott's car from Prime Empire, I prefer this. But, $50 price point, I don't know. It's This is not something I'm very interested in. But, let's take a look at the other things included in the set. So, it also comes with this little stand to hold the uh, scepter, or the, what's what do they call it? The staff, I guess? that has the Forbidden Spinjitsu scroll on it. Uh, it's fine. Like, it's, what, five, six pieces? It's not that exciting, but it works. I like the little snake pieces. Those are really cool pieces. So, yeah, it's fine. So, yeah, it's a fine inclusion, but it's not going to make me give this set any extra points. You also get Forbidden Spinjitsu Nia here, and as always, you can spin them. Let's see if I can. Nope. Kind of. Nope. 
point is I can spin. It's hard for me to do it because I'm reaching around the camera, but trust me, I am able to spin a spinner. It's just my camera is on a tripod. But that, there's what that looks like. And it's got one of the cooler ones. The sparkly bits look really, really good with the uh, trans light blue. And yeah, it's, it's a cool one. Now for the ninja selection here, it's pretty lame in my opinion. You get Forbidden Spinjitzu Nia, who is exclusive, and I believe this is the only set Nia comes in this way besides the Land Bounty. You only get one shoulder pad for the $50, again you can get two for 20 So it's just, I feel like they could have made this a little stronger. I understand that it's Kai's vehicle, so he kind of needs to come in this set, but he is not a super desirable figure because he comes in so many sets. And this isn't even like the regular version of Nia, so that's not amazing. So I would have liked if they included an armor piece for Nia, but I understand they don't do that with the Forbidden Spinjitzu forms for some reason. Or at the very least, include a third ninja along with these two. Maybe like Lloyd or Jay or Cole or something. I don't know. There's the figures on the back, and there's everything removed. And then there's the front with everything removed. It's just the standard season 11 robes at this point. You can get them off bricks a piece, or at least you could. So, not too exciting in my opinion. But you know what is exciting? Pyro Whipper. This is his set. This is the one set he comes in. He's exclusive to this set. I have no idea why. Why did they make a random snake, army buildable snake exclusive to one $50 set? Doesn't make any sense to me. Char, one of the like named snakes, comes in more sets than a generic one. I don't get it, but this is the one set he comes in, and you know I love Pyro Whippers, so that is the one place where this set gets like bonus points for me. In all reality though, Pyro Whipper is just Char's head in brown on a normal Pyro Viper body, but he's good, he's funny, I love him.